Canal Zona Dumedo, your horror channel. Before you begin, I give a warning that the stories of the channel are sent by ordinary people where they say they have had experiences with these creatures. Now, believe it or not, it's up to you. Hi, good evening everyone, and now we go to today's story, which is from Mr. Leandro, and this happened to him in the city of Sorocaba, which is in the state of Sao Paulo, and at that time which was in the year 2018, Mr. Leandro was 39 years old. And today I will tell something very strange that occurred to me on the road, where until today I do not know what creature was that, could be for me, a chupacabra, a dog man, or even a werewolf, I speak this, because of the size that was this beast. I am a truck driver, but one night when I was returning home from a delivery trip to another state, I stopped my truck in the car park of a gas station to rest a bit. But what happened next was that I learned at the gas station that there was a big party in a nearby neighborhood, and this was around 11 o'clock at night. A man who was driving in the car park said that he was going to this party, and he invited me to come together in his car. I accepted this guy's invitation, and I got in the car and we went to the event. As the party was in a nearby neighborhood, we arrived at the party in five minutes, and we stayed having fun, drinking, and flirting with some women. This partner that took me by car to the event, he met a woman at the party, and then he disappeared, and I never saw this guy again. But when it was around 3 o'clock in the morning, I decided to go back to the gas station to sleep a little in my truck, because in the morning, I would hit the road and go back to my house. With that, I left the party while I was walking back through a street. It was a silence in that place, and I could even hear the noises of insects through the dark woods. After a while, suddenly the street lights started to fail, and at that time I started to feel a strange sensation of fear and amazement at something. I started to walk faster, and it was then that I heard some noises in the middle of the bush, and there was something walking hidden in the dark bush, and it was certainly following me. I was afraid that it was a thief, so I took my mobile phone and put it on the front of my underwear and kept walking, but then a car appeared on that street, and the light of the car's headlight passed through the bush, and I saw a kind of strange dog, but it was standing on two legs. I stopped walking, and I looked at this dog, and I realized that this beast was less than a meter and a half tall. I was in doubt what creature it was, but soon this animal hid itself by the bushes. My thought was to go back, and not to pass by where that creature was hiding, because it could be dangerous. I was very frightened with that, because I thought that it was a chupacabra, as I didn't want more to pass for that street. I entered in the bush for the creature not to find me. I walked a little for the vegetation, and I arrived in another street of land, and I saw that it had a very high ravine close to me, and that it was very close to the highway, but by luck or by bad luck, soon I. Look back and I saw that creature again, coming in my direction without making noise, to catch me by surprise, and it was already about 10 meters away from me, and it came walking in my direction, in a way that would attack me, and seeing danger of being caught by that creature, I went walking slowly backwards. This animal was very strange, because although he was on four legs, his arms and legs were like those of a man. Well, at that time I ran through the woods, and as the ravine was very close to me, I went down the ravine rolling on the way down this hill, and my mobile phone fell in the bushes, but for my luck, I managed to get to the side of the road, I got up fast and scared, and when I looked in the direction of the ravine, I saw that animal standing again and looking at me, and by my luck it didn't come down the ravine to get me, and it looked like a kind of dog but with the body of a small man, but it was very hairy, and as at that time of the morning there wasn't much movement on the road, I took advantage and crossed the two roads and arrived on the other side. After running a little, I arrived at the gas station where I had parked my truck. The parking attendant saw me, he got scared too, 
but I didn't stop to explain anything to him because I was still afraid that the creature would still be following me, and in my hurry, I got into the cab of my truck. I stayed there thinking about what had just happened to me. And thinking about this creature, I got confused. It could be a chupacabra or a dogman or even a werewolf. The fact is that I wanted to leave that place, but as I dropped my mobile phone on the floor at the moment of the escape, with that, I decided to wait for the dawn to look for my device. Soon a little time passed, and so the day dawned, began the movement of people and trucks on the track. I went to talk to the guard of the car park, and he told me that he saw me running at dawn in the post. I told him that I had been chased by a weird creature at dawn when I was coming back from the party, and that I needed to return to the site to look for my phone that I lost in the ravine. And as Watchman had already finished his working hours, he went with me to the place where I lost my phone. When we arrived near the ravine, I grabbed a wooden handle to defend myself in case the dogman appeared, and the Watchman picked up some stones on the ground, but while we were looking for the phone set in the bush, we had a surprise, because we saw a very small man, and he was 1 meter 40 centimeters tall, and he was holding a mobile phone in his hands, and soon the watchman and I got close to this dwarf, I was intrigued by all this. I asked this small man if he saw a strange creature in the undergrowth, and the dwarf said he saw nothing, because he was just passing through town, this guy was very scared and spoke with difficulty and very frightened, and he said he was just a walker. After that, I gave the dwarf some money, as he handed over my calling device, and so I said goodbye to the watchman and went back to the gas station. I started the vehicle and took the road and left for my town. However, I didn't stop thinking about that creature, or what was that, and passing some days, I come with the situation, I started to reason about that story, and I arrived in the conclusion that that small man could be him that turned that creature that was a type of werewolf or a dogman the dwarf because the two were of the same size. But with certainty many walkers that stay walking in those tracks alone in the nights could be that they turn werewolf. And I also will never walk alone at night near the highways because I don't want to risk myself and find another beast like that. Good night. And that dawn, lucky for me, was that I had that ravine that saved me because I could have been attacked by the creature and things could have ended badly for me. If you like the story, subscribe to the channel Fear Zone to receive more stories like this and leave your like the channel to grow.